Very good morning. Welcome to Similarity Part 4. Today we are going to learn about area of similar triangle. Now, the statement says the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. Let me tell you the difference between similar and congruence. See, there is a vast difference a cricket ball and a football. These two are similar but they are not congruent. And one more thing, whenever the two triangles Please keep in your mind, it should be borne in the mind that whenever the two triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion and their angles are congruent. I repeat, whenever the two triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion and their angles are congruent. As here, triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. These two triangles are similar. So their sides A, B, B, C and A, C are proportional to the sides of triangle X, Y, Z. Two, so that is X, Y, Y, Z and X, Z. So I will write it AB upon XY. As I said, the sides are in proportion. It means the ratios are equal. AB upon XY. BC upon YZ. AC upon XZ. So here, what is my what the statement says? Whenever the two triangles are similar, only that much you will write in given. That triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. Now, what the statement says, prove that the ratio of the areas of two triangles, that is triang area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle X, Y, Z is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. That is AB square upon XY square. Now side BC is proportional to YZ. So BC square upon YZ. And AC square upon XZ square. So for that let me remind you once again. The ratio of the areas of two triangles. Or the first property. The ratio of the areas of two triangles. Is equal to the ratio of the product of their base and height. Here, base is BC and YZ respectively. So, here we have to construct the height. So, AD is perpendicular to BC and XT is perpendicular to YZ. That will be the part of my construction. So, in construction, we have to write that draw segment AD perpendicular to BC and segment XT perpendicular to side YZ. Now in the proof, once again, let me remind you, whenever the two triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion. So here, triangle ABC, similar, the flying key is the symbol of similar. Triangle ABC, similar to triangle XYZ, that is given. Now, whenever the two triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion. So AB is proportional to XY. See, triangles are similar. Their sides are in proportion. Last time in session 3, I told you, you can write, you can name the triangle in any manner as they have the three vertices. ABC, CAB, BCA, anywhere. But it, the same will not be the case in case of similar. While showing the triangle similar, you should be very, 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 very careful. So here, AB is proportional to XY. 
is equal to BC upon YZ is equal to AC upon XZ. The reason is CSST that is corresponding sides of similar triangle. Let us give that number 1. Now once again I told you if the side if the triangles are similar their angles are congruent. So here angle B is congruent to angle Y. It is here in diagram I can show that angle B is congruent to angle Y. So while showing these two triangles see AD is perpendicular here XT is perpendicular so you can make it out the two triangles are similar whenever the two triangles are similar their sides are in proportion and angles are congruent again and again I am repeating please so it should be born in the mind right in your brain now we'll take the two triangles here as I have already shown you triangle ABD and triangle XYT angle D is congruent to angle T that is due to construction they are of 90 degrees angle B and angle Y the corresponding angles of similar triangle so both the triangles are similar by angle angle test see here we have taken the two triangles triangle ABD and in triangle XYT angle ABD that is angle B congruent to angle XYT from 2 that is what similar angles of corresponding angles of similar triangle angle ADB which is of 90 degree is congruent to angle XTY each 90 degree as in construction we have already written that perpendicular AD perpendicular to BC so D is of 90 degree XT perpendicular to YT so angle T is of 90 degree so both the angles are congruent so here the reverse case I told you whenever the two triangles are similar their angles are congruent so taking the same or using the same property both the triangles triangle ABD similar to triangle X Y T half triangles A B D similar to triangle X Y T now these two triangles are similar by A A test once again let us repeat that whenever the two triangles are similar their sides are in proportion so which are the sides of A B D and X Y T A B is proportional to XY BD upon YT is equal to AD upon XT so here you can compare let's give it number 3 now you can compare it the 1 and 3 what is common AB upon XY in third one also AB upon XY so here we'll eliminate or we'll remove it separately AB upon XY now let's go back to the first property the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of their base and height now which is the base of ABC BC and height AD in case of triangle XYZ, YZ is the base, XT is the height. So here BC is proportional to YZ. That what we have taken from number 1. And from height, from third, we have taken AD upon XT. It means 1 and 3 are same. Now let, that, let's give it number 4. Now coming to our original part that is area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle XYZ is equal to product of their base and height bases as I said BC and AD is the height upon YZ is the base of triangle XYZ and XT is the height of triangle XYZ but from fourth 
what we can say BC upon YZ is equal to AD upon XT so eliminating that instead of AD upon XT I substituted I used BC upon YZ so already I have written here from number 4 so what we can do here BC into BC BC square YZ into YZ it's YZ square let us give it number 5 now just train your brain and just here correlate this fifth and first in the first one what the number one says AB upon XY is equal to BC upon YZ is equal to AC upon XZ when the first ratio is the square or any one either second or the third when it is in square so same will be applicable to all the three ratios so if it is BC square upon XZ BC upon YZ square the same will be applicable to AB square upon XY square is equal to AC square upon XZ square so from 1 and 5 what we can say area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle XYZ is equal to AB square upon XY square is equal to BC square upon YZ square is equal to AC square upon XZ square don't forget to write the full statement at the end of the theorem that is hence we can prove that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides now in the next session we'll start with exercise 1.1 till then please care of yourself and good care of your family.